Well, he certainly got choked up, and you're about to see that in a moment when he realized that she is the one who died out here, 65 years old, Laureen Wheaton. She is the only person who was inside of this building uh, when the and died when that BSO chopper crashed Monday morning. Now, Wheaton was from South Carolina. That's actually where her family still is even now. She lived here in South Florida for about the last 20 years, eight of those here in Pompano Beach. That close friend describing her as humble and kind, saying that she had overcome drug addiction and had been sober for more than a decade. Now, again, Wheaton, the only person in the apartment building who was killed when that BSO fire rescue helicopter fell out of the sky after taking off from Pompano Beach Air Park and reporting engine failure. One of the firefighters on board, Battalion Chief Terryson Jackson, he also died in the crash. But two others who were on board escaped without serious injuries, and that includes the pilot. Now, Wheaton's close friend and AA sponsor, Michael Varon, he got emotional learning this morning that, in fact, she was the woman killed. Take a listen. I didn't want to admit it, but when I saw the flame from yesterday and the day before in the corner, and I've been praying, and it was the obvious. That by coming this morning, it confirmed it. She's in heaven. So now we know that the National Transportation Safety Board collected all of the pieces of the helicopter and uh, loaded it onto a tow truck, hauled it away for further investigation. We're told that they will be looking at this, an in-depth investigation for the next several months, and that a final report may not be available for another year or two. We are live here in Pompano Beach. Marissa Bag, NBC6 News. All right. <clears throat> so first and foremost, before I get started with this lesson, I would like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakahakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone that rule well and have taught me this truth. Peace and salutations unto the hopeful elect. The temple of King David scattered through the four corners of the earth. And to you, I say, Shalawan. And hey, man, this right here, this is why you should fear the Lord, man. All right, if you don't fear the Lord by now, after all the videos that we've done, right, get ready to see all these prophecies come to pass, right? You clearly see that, that Jacob's trouble is near. Right, then when everybody thinks, and also the day of the Lord is upon us, you know, if this right here doesn't make you, right, seek the Lord, then I don't know what else will, man. This woman here was in her house or in a house, right, and then a helicopter fell down on her, man. Right, this is for you women that are out there, man. And also you men too, cause you see this dude right here, you know, he he was, you know, I guess he was, you know, the captain of the helicopter that fell, you know, and then the other two people, you know, who we don't know yet, I don't know anyway, you know, they got away scot-free. But just so happened, you Israelites out there, the Lord handed out judgment just for you. Let's take a look at this. Look at this. Let me see here. It shows the helicopter. In Pompano Beach. Look. That close friend describing. It shows the helicopter falling out of the sky. You see? Her as humble and kind, saying that she had overcome drug addiction and had been sober for more than a decade. Now, again, Wheaton, Man. the only person in the apartment building who was killed when that beat. The helicopter fell out in the sky. And this Jake right here was in a helicopter. He died on impact. All right? And then this woman here, she was the only one in the house that the helicopter fell down on. All right? And she died instantly. You know, there's a bunch of stuff that I could say about this. All right? But for time's sake, I'm going to keep it short, man. You should fear the Lord, man. And when all these evils are happening out here, who is the one that you think is responsible for this man all right let's go ahead and grab some scriptures 
Now, just a quick lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. This is the book of Amos, chapter 3, verse 6, and it reads, Shall a trumpet be blown in the city, and the people not be afraid? Shall there be evil, right, in the city, and the Lord have not done it? You see that? So this right here, who do you think is the one that's responsible, right, for this situation happening, man? She was the only one. She was sitting in her house. She probably was on, you know, TikTok. You know, or, you know, making a, you know, making some food or something. Right? And the Lord brought this upon her, man. You see that? Can you imagine? A lot of you brothers and you few sisters, when you be watching these videos, you be sitting in your house. Now, imagine out of nowhere a helicopter come crashing through there, man. Why? Because you don't fear and seek the Lord. See, man, this right here, this should definitely make you fear the Lord, man. Let's grab some more scriptures here on, on fear or, or, or on our evils, man. Second Ezra chapter 14, verse 16. Jumping straight to the point. For greater evils than those which thou hast seen happen shall be done here. And hey, man. Right? It says greater evils. So a lot of people in the days to come, they're going to be in their apartment building or in their condo or in their house somewhere. And a, and a, and a 747 jet. Come crashing through the walls, man. Right? Yes, man. I remember one time I was in Virginia Beach. And uh, there was this jogger. He was jogging, you know, on, on the beach. And when he was jogging on the beach, a Cessna plane. Right? You know those two-seater Cessnas? A Cessna plane fell down on the dude, man. The two people that were inside the plane survived. But the jogger, he ain't even see it coming, man. He died on impact. You see, so greater evils, man, are going to happen, man, in the days to come. You see, so knowing these greater evils are going to happen, how should you be going about your life? This is the book of Ezekiel, chapter 7, verse 5, and it reads, Thus saith the Lord our power, Yahweh, and evil, and only evil, behold, is come. You see that? So, yeah, man. All right, evils are getting ready to happen, man. And you see them happening now. Eve was just sitting inside her house, right, making a damn peanut butter jelly sandwich or, you know, on, on, you know, on Twitter somewhere. You know, you see she got the phone in her hand, you know. And a plane, I mean, a helicopter fell down on her, man. All right, she probably died by the jet fuel, you know, or whatever the case is, man. You know, one of the propellers probably hit her. Brothers, and even you few sisters out there, man, we are constantly blowing the trumpet, man. You know, but you got people out there that still think that it's a game. All right, she probably was, you know, I mean, I don't want to bear a false witness, but, you know, ain't no telling what this woman here was doing, man. And it's very clear that this dude right here, you see what he was involved in, flying helicopters. Shave face, shave beard. You see? So we're warning you individuals out there, man. What time is it? Oh, 10.55. So we're warning you individuals out there, man. You see that? That you should be fearing the Lord, man, because he's the one that brings the evil, man. Let's go ahead and grab a few more, and I'm going to shut it down. But this right here, if that don't make you fear, then I don't know what else will. You know, you're constantly seeing people out there getting shot and destroyed and attacked by animals and you know you know dying in hurricanes yeah man proverbs 8 and verse 17 it reads i love them that love me you see that and how do you show love by doing your best to keep the law statutes and commandments you still got people out here that saying well i love jesus right and ain't doing nothing that the lord or, or the savior told him to do and his name is not jesus his name is Jehovah shai you know that? I seen a woman the other day had on her shirt, right? Uh, you know, the end up had on her shirt. I love Jesus, right? Sitting there uh, 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 buying pork butt. See what's going on here? Proverbs 8, 17. I love them that love me and those that seek me early shall what? Shall find me. You see that? So we're telling you individuals to seek the Lord, man. 
You see that? Because fear, I mean, because evil could happen to you, man, at any given moment. You could be riding up and down the street on the interstate somewhere, and yeah, man, the interstate give way. You see? You could be in your bed somewhere, you know, at night, and then wake up to your house being on fire and you trapped inside. You could be going out one day to go feed that dog or, or, or whatever, and that dog turn on you, man. You see that? You could be taking a stroll through your neighborhood and a jake come up to you, man, and yeah, man, or a tree fall on you, or a power line, you know, yeah, man. You should seek the Lord, man. Seek him early. Let's bring in one more. This is the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 12, verse 13. Here's a conclusion of your whole life, you so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. You see that? You want to know the conclusion of, of what you're supposed to do? Fear the Most High Yahweh, you see that? And keep his commandments. For this is the whole duty of man, you see that? So, you individuals out there, you know, this is what you should be doing, man. Or this could happen to you. That BSO chopper crashed Monday morning. Now, Wheaton was from South Carolina. That's actually where her family still is even now. She lived here in South Florida for about the last 20 years, eight of those here in Pompano Beach. That close friend describing her as humble and kind, saying that she had overcome drug addiction and had been sober for more than a decade. Now, again, Wheaton, the only person in the apartment building who was killed when that BSO fire rescue helicopter fell out of the sky after taking off from Pompano Beach Air Park and reporting engine failure. One of the firefighters on board, Battalion Chief Terry St. Jackson, he also died in the crash, but two other- Man, come on, man. You don't, if, if you don't fear the Lord, man, she probably was doing everything, you know, but she wasn't fearing the Lord and seeking him, man. And that's why her car got pulled ultimately. You see? So we're telling you individuals, right? That hey man, just like how this helicopter, how it fell out the sky, right? It's an easy thing for you to fall into the hands of the living power. Let's close out with that one. I'm gonna end this lesson. This is the book of Hebrews. Alright? Hebrews chapter 10, chapter straight to the point, verse 31. It is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power, Yahweh. You see that? And with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and end this video right here, Israel, until the next time I say, Shalom.